one little point that I'd like to put across today is that Nathan's target was not to simply complete an Everest challenge. Nathan's target instead was to specifically do an Everest as fast as he possibly can. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Good morning and welcome to the vlog. 3.45. My bag's already packed. Um, we are going to shove a load of stuff in a cool box of some food that I've already made. Um, grab a coffee to go and get on the road in the next half an hour. Sleep with the, with the serotonin release that it can ha happen. I don't know how many, I don't know how long you'd eat, I don't know how many days you'd eat over. Can you build a good physique on those part of it? I think that's what you need to understand. So it is, it's always going to be there. Um, about an hour into the journey and uh, it's about half past five now i've just stopped at somewhere near weatherby just a little leg loose and a run um get the heart pumping blood round and a bit of stretching and then we will set off again for the last hour and a half of the journey time <laughs> We have arrived at Great Dunfell. It is eight o'clock. Nathan is arriving in the next couple of minutes. And then we're aiming to set him off uh, about half past eight, just on a bit of a drive up the actual hill to as far as I can. And uh, yeah, there's some water on the ground, but it's not too bad. When he arrives in the next few minutes, we'll have a little briefing and then we'll work out the last kind of plan um, and go from there. Uh, but yeah, set to be a good day. Um, looking forward to it. Bottle, Nathan, or do you want to? Right, I don't, I don't know. Oh, so, Nathan has just started his second lap. Um, he's in good spirits. Logistics wise, I am parked at the bottom of the climb where he does his turnaround. His mum is parked at the top of the climb. Um, I am on bottle duty. His mum is on food duty. Um, the general protocol is every other lap he will be taking a bottle off me. Um, and the, uh, the other lap to that, he will be taking um, like a flapjack or something from his mum at the top. Just had a word with the local farmer. He's happy for me to park on his land. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going going well so far. How's it going? Alright, yeah. Thumbs up. We're still positive. Yeah. What laps this, Nate? Uh, Approaching halfway. We're looking mega.
or something. So yeah, yeah. It's a lot quicker than the calculated one. Oh. Yeah. You stole my heart of gold after my Looking good, mate. Well done. Can you dig in? update for you now then um, Nathan is roughly two-thirds of the way through this um, it is about quarter past two now and <clears throat> he's doing well we're still on a good pace um, he did go through a little bit of a bad patch a couple of reps ago um, but I've just given him some caffeine about 100 milligrams of caffeine which will kick in very shortly and hopefully get him through that um, but yeah, he's still ticking off well and looking strong. Um, and yeah, it's just a case of one more rep, one more rep, and essentially just cheering him on as much as possible. Ball. Nah. Well done, mate. Keep pressing. Eight more. Easy. Come on. The next time I saw Nathan, he had his head in his hands and he had DNF'd. He was gutted, but it was the right decision after a knee injury pulled him out. Okay, show a stat summary. Total time, 6 hours 35 minutes. Distance, 140k, which was 41 laps in total. Average speed 21 kilometers an hour and max speed 81 kilometers an hour. Normalized power for the time 296 watts. Training stress score 443. Average heart rate 151 and max 179. And that burnt 5,865 calories. Total ascent of the day was 6,893 metres. A big day. Not a total Everest, but very close. Right, Nafe. We called it a day in the end. Yes, I did, because my, my knee flared up a bit about, well, about 7,000 metres into the, into the total ascent, so wasn't really worth risking it, I don't think. Got other things to, later on in the year to look forward to. So. Yeah. Do you think that you potentially went off a little bit hard, or do you think... I may have gone off a little bit too hard, because I did... The last couple of laps I did, I was really struggling. You look strong. You, you seem yeah. to have a little bit of a... Potentially a little bit of a lull after that stop. Do you think Do you think that, yeah. that, was, a, that was the case? The first rep after it was all right, but then it just went... The second rep after the stop was was awful. Was yeah. Three minutes down on the other one. So. Yeah. So what have you got your sights set on next? What's coming up in the next few weeks? Well, in week on Friday, I've got the Team Nova Nordisk Talent ID Camp, which is this year. It's virtual. So yeah. So yeah. Zwift and Sufferfest and all of that. So I've got some spicy sessions to look forward <laughs> to on that. Yeah. So, well, tonight you can go home and you can get your feet up and you can look forward to a nice big meal, get the calories back in and try and recover right, best right, you can. <laughs> now, it was a, it's a great effort all round. Well done, mate. So just as I'm walking the dog, a bit of time to reflect. Yesterday was a fantastic day. Astounding effort from Nathan. First point is we went out with um, a target and that target was not to simply finish an Everest. Nathan wanted to do an Everest as fast as he possibly could. So the um, the objective of purely finishing that um, amount of climbing uh, would have been well within reach if he wasn't going absolutely full gas. Um, but essentially we wanted to do that task as fast as he possibly could. Now we worked out some numbers, we worked out what kind of powers he should be able to withstand for all of that duration. 
Um, and for Nathan, that was roughly um, 280 to 290 watts per rep. Now, Nathan went out a little bit harder than that. Nathan did the first kind of 15 reps all at about two th uh, 320 to 330 watts. And that is, uh, yeah, that's like five watts per kilo, and that is huge. Seems sustainable. He seemed fresh all up until that lunch stop, and then uh, and then he did start to fatigue. Now, in hindsight, should he have gone off easier? Yes, probably a little bit. Um, but we were looking for as fast as he could. We were essentially looking for that UK record pace. The limiting factor was Nathan's knee, and. Um, the knee might have flared up even if you went easier from the start so that's not something that we would be able to um, decipher now looking back um but yeah it was a good day all around only now after doing some calculations we have realized that nathan has actually broke the uk rock record for a half ever <laughs> So that just says how fast he was going, how hard he was going, because, you know, even with the full Everest in his sight, um, he still did actually smash a half Everest time. So a fantastic effort, really proud of him. And uh, and yeah, it was a good day. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Next time, see you later.